trees are felled and the tinder-like grassland is cleared away as the residents on the Greek island of Evia do all they can to stop the wildfires from advancing. With the fires raging for the past six days, some islanders chose to evacuate. Others chose to stay and fight. The men of the fire brigade are doing the best they can, yet we want planes. The fire is behind this mountain. If it passes, the fire will come here. We need planes. We're helping as much as we can. We're trying to save our villages, our homes. The situation is out of control. You can see what is happening. Everyone is on the road. No one sleeps day and night. Charred shells is all that remains of many of the homes on the island. The flames swept through in a matter of minutes. Thousands were forced to flee towards the coast, where boats carried them to safety on the mainland. No lives have been lost, but livelihoods have been destroyed. It's a holocaust. All the villages, the whole area is finished. Finished. All we're saying today is that we're fortunate to be alive. Tomorrow, maybe after five days, politicians will come and make promises like, we will help you, we will rebuild your houses and your properties. But I grew up here. And I believe that some people will never rebuild their lives. I'm the first to apologize for any weaknesses. I fully understand the pain of our fellow citizens who saw their homes or property burned. Any failures will be identified and the responsibilities will be assigned.